This is an audio redubbing. Um, why am I saying redubbing? That's retarded. Um, the original audio for this video is unusable, so I have to commentate over it, which fucking sucks. But 15 minutes of me rambling on about useless bullshit. That's Corey, by the way. He's my BFF. I love him. He's my buddy. Um, yeah, this video audio kind of shit out, so I have to redub over it. I, I guess it's called redubbing. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, I can't use the original audio because it kind of took a shit, so sorry about that. But yeah, moving on. Welcome to episode 4 of Borderlands, where I just kind of kill things for like, you know, 15 minutes or so. Sorry if I'm moving away and close and away and close from the mic. Uh, had a long day. Had to go renew my driving permit. Failed my driving test. Well, I passed parallel parking, which I guess is its own thing now. Failed the other two, which is weird, but meh. I'll try again, you know. This, that, and the other. But, yeah. How's, how, how's your guys' day been? Really? Oh, my. That's, that's interesting. I don't give a fuck! I love you. <laughs> but, yeah. No, I had to... I've been pushing... I've... Uh, I had to push off recording or uploading for a couple days this week because I didn't... I was not up to it. Wasn't, you know, really in the mood or anything. So I pushed it off till today, and now, well, here it is. Uh, today is, I'm not going to tell the exact date, but today is a Saturday. Happy Saturday, everybody. Yada, yada, yada. But, yeah. But, yeah. It sucks, because now I have to sit here and think of things to say for 15 minutes. I'm a lot of conversation pieces. Bought a new controller the other day, you know, for fighting games. Fight games, yeah. Yeah, yeah. One thing I did not know is that, because when, when I went to go renew my permit, I didn't know that, because um, when I took the driving test, uh, like the written test, I took it, I think, last year. I think I took it, like, early last year or sometime. I'm not sure. But when I took it, it was way different than what they do now. And they make the the machines. You take it through, like, a touchscreen. And the touchscreen is so annoying because they have it preset to a loud-ass volume that pretty much declares, you are taking a fucking driving test. Congratulations, fucker. And it's really fucking annoying and obnoxious. And then when you when I was done and I passed, at the end it's like, "You passed. Congratulations." Fuck that shit. Fucking things fucking annoying. Yeah. And yeah, passed it, passed my permit again. At least I know I can pass the written test. Barely passed it. Uh, they changed it from getting five questions of leeway to eight. And my assumption is that I failed the new questions that I stared at with a blank, a daunting stare. Which is, which is great, you know. But oh well, you know, I passed, so I got another two years to get my license. Uh, the reason I don't have a driver's license currently and I have a permit instead is because, well... Um, I didn't get a per I didn't get into driving school to get like a or, or permit till I was about 18ish because I was working at the time and the job I was working at my I had a boss at one period and a boss at another period of time and they both were working me like a dog and I had no time to do driving school and this that and the other cuz I had to balance school and work and it kind of wasn't working out too good and then uh, after I got out of high school, I had a bunch of time to do driving school, but I also was super lazy and procrastinative, and I pushed it off. Pushed it off for a fucking while, which I really shouldn't have. 
But, yeah, it sucks. And taking the driving test, boy, was that nerve-wracking. The reason it's so nerve-wracking is because I'm used to driving with my mom and it's being cool. Because my mom's not, you know, grading my driving performance. But then I'm driving with this lady, she's like... Ugh. It's, it's like it's, it's not intimidating. It's just she's just like she's like you know, rah, shit like that. Yeah, it was fucking nerve wracking though, and I was, uh, I was whatever. She the annoying thing about it that was the friggin' lady is sitting there, and I'm like ready to start the car, and I'm like let's just get this over with, and she's like, calm down, you're nervous, and I'm like, I just want to start the car and go. I'm like, you are sitting here, like, stalling me, getting me more nervous. And then she starts asking me a bunch of stupid questions. She's like, have you ever been convicted of a felony of the motor vehicle? And I'm like, if I did, would I be here? I'm like, why would I be trying to get my license if I've done something that is on the grounds of I shouldn't have a fucking license? Ask me other questions like, can you see the fucking road? It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, lady. I can I can see for miles. I can see the hitch fork of a caravan. Mm-hmm. She was nice, though. Uh, at the end, though, when she had to tell me that I failed, she saw the look of, like, pure depression and butthurt. I was like, well, that fucking sucks. She was like, yeah, I can tell you're all bummed out, and I can tell this, and I can tell that. And I'm like, (sighs) and I was like frustrated. And she's like, but you passed parallel parking. And I'm like, woo, hooray. I'm like, that's, uh." I was really frustrated. I came home, and I was fucking pissed. I was like, yeah, well. And the the thing that pissed me off about it, though, was I had to do uh, lane changing, which, as you know, when you do lane changing, You know, if you drive, you look in your mirror and look in your blind spot to make sure it's okay for you to go over. Now, I did slow down whenever I'd lane change. That was my bad. But something that ticked me off, though, is she said I didn't even check the blind spots. Said I wasn't turning my head and just going into oncoming traffic. Well, not oncoming, but like going into the lane without looking. And the funny thing about that was she was on her phone. The woman who was the driving instructor who was giving my test was like on her phone while I was doing that. Now, I don't have grounds to say that that's irresponsible of her because the whole thing about that is is that, you know, she's a passenger. She's allowed to look at her phone. But, you know, it's a thing of like she should have been a little more attentive. I mean, she caught she caught me doing like stopping too close to other cars and like barely missing the stopping line she caught me doing that which is you know it's her job but then on those the two times and the whole thing i had to change lanes she's like not paying attention which that kind of ticked me off but even if i got that i would have still failed because apparently my stopping was so god awful horrible which the thing that sucks about that is in our town the stopping lines where there are you know most of the stopping like where you're supposed to stop before you hit, like, the crosswalk or you go out in the middle of the road. Most of those in my town are completely, like, rubbed off the road. And that's, you know, that's that's fucking ridiculous. But, hey, that's the town I live in. The town I live in that cares more about giving starving artists a home and making community housing instead of, like like keeping the roads up to shape shape this and the other yeah the town i live in is currently building quote-unquote community housing and i've heard the whole idea behind that community housing in my local town and it's total bullshit they're trying to set it up to where it's supposed to be a big old happy community thing where a bunch of young kids like college kids are supposed to come move in and want to be a part of the community and help the elderly and the It's basically a crock of shit. It's pretty much the city, our city, trying to do something that's a bad idea because at first it sounds like a good idea. It's like, oh, yeah, well, but the bad thing about that is, is like, most of the people in this town who are going to appeal to that community house are not going to be the type of people who, they're not going to be the elderly people who want to help you. watch the young kids and they're not going to be the young kids who want to help you know 
take care of the elderly and this, that, and the other. It's not going to be like a family friendly thing. It's not going to be like a big community thing. It's going to be a bunch of, you know, dope, you know, doped out kids who are just barely out of high school and don't really want to either work a job or, you know, this, that, and the other. It's going to be a bunch of kids who are just kind of like, yeah, whatever, cool place to live because it's a community thing, which is, which is ridiculous. And I, I don't think that they should be doing that with our, our, our tax money because I'm already hearing a lot of complaints from people who live in that area that it's a bad idea, especially since it's community housing that's geared towards uh, the wrong demographic. It's not being geared towards a demographic that, you know, would be necessarily a good thing. It's a demographic that's kind of, you know, in the worst end of it. Because it's like, at first I hear, oh yeah, well they want college kids to move in. Well, they want college kids to move in there who are kids who graduated from Goshen High. Which, yeah, that tells you where I live, by the way. If you didn't just figure that out, I just slipped the bomb. That's where I live. And the thing is, is our local high school, a lot of the kids from our local high school try to go to the local college. Well, the city, I guess, kind of saw that and wants, you know, to do something, you know, to, you know, kind of take advantage of that, which is a bad idea because a lot of these kids are, you know, they're in a... I know a lot of them, I went to school with a lot of these kids and a lot of my younger relatives know some of these kids. A lot of these kids are end up just smoking heavy amounts of pot. A lot of them are lazy and do not want to work. And, you know, that's where you start getting some problems and stuff because it's crap. It's almost literal crap. It's like, you know, at first I'm kind of like, I can go I can go along with this community housing. Well then they're like, no, we want locals to be in the community housing. You know? And at first I can understand that. Yes, you will want locals. But then they're trying to swing for the locals that are completely leagues apart in difference. Like you want these elderly people who are well structured and are you know, they're more high society. Well then you want these kids who are coming in here from the high school who are pot smoking like crazy who don't want to help any of the people who move in with families to help watch their kids or help take care of the elderly they just want to smoke pot and you know avoid getting a job or avoid being a part of you know regular community stuff which you know it's whatever i mean this it's our tax money which is stupid but i guess the city can do what they want to with it which which they have been putting our tax money to some good use here lately. Like, they have been fixing up our roads and stuff. They've had potholes and stuff. So, you know, I'll, I'll obviously cut the city some slack because, you know, they're at least, you know, they're at least fixing some of the stuff we need and this, that, and the other. And I'm just waiting for this community housing to see what happens because it's a pretty weird situation. So, yeah, who knows? I'm kind of hoping it goes well. Because if it does, then that means that maybe um, we can get, you know, the, the city can get the community back involved with things. Or maybe the city can start making, like, more community, you know, based things in the future. In the future, of course. But, yeah. Um, I'm already out of stuff to talk about. That was, t- talk about, that was, that was just a thing that came up randomly. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep uh I'm gonna try to keep my regular recording schedule after this. It's gonna be kinda hard though because well shit's getting crazy. Um I did have some days off work this week, but because I had my driving test and because that was taking so much off me mentally, I was no way ready to kinda do anything else. But eh, you know, things like that happen and eh, it sucks I failed, but hey, you know, like they say, better luck next time. I'm hoping I have better luck the next time I take it. Also, I'm going to throw in this tidbit right now. I'm really hoping it records all the audio I'm saying. And I'm really, really hoping that it doesn't go and just have a completely silent video. Because that's going to be really embarrassing since I just sat here for 15 minutes. <sighs> oh boy, do I hope this is not broken. 
Jeez, it's gonna be fun.